Hey guys, today we're going to be wrapping up the DLCs for Final Fantasy 16. We have beaten Leviathan, we have saved little Walius the baby, but there's still a few things that we gotta do, and it's gonna be worth it, trust me. Hope you guys enjoy. Apparently there's something in here that I need to get for, for Clive first. See what we got. What is this? Muthos. Oh, why you did I come? come why did you tell me to come abyss, here? Yet still you hum. I hate listening to this guy talk. We are impressed. Is that so? Nobody cares. I hear Mythos one more time. tough boss fight because I wanted to do some chill stuff at the start of the stream here <coughs> is it Sephiroth oh no it's just it's just me <laughs> Thank you, I guess. You still think I'm going to be your vessel? Take your gift then, Ultima. Just don't expect it back. Mine now. Ultima power. Clive has been granted a portion of Ultima's essence. Attuning with Ultima not only neutralizes the elemental aspect of Clive's magic spells, but also allows access to several new divine abilities such as Voice of God, a punishing attack that sends a concentrated beam of light from the heavens to scorch the very earth. Ultima Feet Ascension allows Clive to levitate from the ground, transforming his normal attack into a sweeping assault capable of striking multiple nearby enemies at once. It also enhances his normal ranged spell into a fivefold volley of holy arrows. In addition, pressing X allows Clive to rise up even further into the air, allowing easier access to flying enemies. Okay. Okay. Only Ultima abilities are available during this battle. Okay, here we go. I will never be yours. Boom. <laughs> Okay, what else do we have? Oh, wow, okay. Yeah, 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 yeah
isn't this just something? Oh god. Let's roll it. He's staggered. Not much I can do. All my cooldowns are going on. Kev, hi Isaac. Welcome in. You, who ever rail against our gifts, remain all too eager to avail yourself of them. Perhaps you require more time to reflect. Iros gate unlocked. Ooh. Ooh. Okay, let's have some fun with it, I guess. So we can change the look of our uh sword. I'm gonna keep it with the Omega weapon because we just got it and it looks cool. Oh, we can make it the Buster Sword. Oh! <laughs> this is the Onion Sword. Here we go. Back to Haven. Okay, let's do this. Let's do this. Time to do some questuses. That's him. The one. My friend, I have news. What's up? I think I might have found a way to break Talor's curse. Go on. Well, after listening to the village elders and scouring every likely looking tomb in the library, I learned that not all Tombries are the same little green menaces we know and loathe. Apparently, a chosen few live to incredible ages and grow to many times the size of their counterparts. We're gonna fight a giant Tomberry? But it's the very eldest of these, the Tomberry Kings, who weave the curses, and that their magics bind their victims to them, that they might continue to feed on their pain. So if we slay the one that cast the curse, the feeding will cease. But that was my thinking, yes. Though I doubt it'll be easy. These kings are not just bigger, they're stronger too. And if the tales are true, their followers will defend them to the death. It is a perilous proposition, in short. But it may also be Talor's only hope. What say you? Are these the same as the Tomberries that we fought already, the big ones? We'll or are these it. even bigger? Even if killing this king doesn't break the curse... The city will be a safer place for its removal. Thank you. So then, where will I find it? <sighs> that, alas, I do not know. It must have woven the curse at the altar in Father's Fell, but as to where it is now. Fanet, you were the one asking about Tonbury's, right? Because there's a whole bloody army of them out on the cloak. What? But why would this stray so far? And why now? 
There's only one way to find out. I'll head up the mountain and see what's going on. Right. Thank you. And please, be careful. Oh boy. Okay, let's change our abilities. Let's see. Ultima. Rise and call forth from the heavens a ray of pure ether to scorch the land can be used in midair. Voice of God. Proselyze. Dominion. Ultimate demise. Wait, oh man. I'm not taking away wind up. You guys know I'm not. What am I missing here? I want to keep Crosswell too. Voice of God. Oh, we got to try that. That looks fun. We got to try him out. Maybe I'll just put Hmm. I could put Crosswell here. I guess we don't need Tsunami and Ultimate Demise. Let's see. Dominion is good stagger damage. Crosslies is good stagger damage. So we're not going to be too hurting for stagger damage, I guess. All right. Make for the cloak. I think the uh, the DLC content is pretty, pretty great. Like there's there's a lot of fun stuff, even there's just a lot of cool stuff. I just man, it's just kind of late that it arrives. You've already pretty much beaten the game and you get all this cool new stuff. I wonder if you could use it in like NG plus or something or how that works. Found her. They're almost at the gate, but they won't be coming any closer. Okay, so we have crossed the lies. Dominion. Don't kill him yet. And then voice of God. does it last? Dang. Okay. I should buy Haven some time at least. Clive, are you all right? Fine. We've taken care of the immediate threat. Oh, thank the tides. I was worried I was going to lose you both. So, Lord, he, he took a sudden turn for the worse just after you left. What? Is he? No, he's hanging on. I fear the Tombury King may have begun the cursing ritual again. In earnest this time. And I can't imagine their being here as a coincidence. I think it might be happening on this very mountain. If it is, it won't be for long. Get back to Talor. I'm going up. My thanks. I shall pray for both of you.
Let's get our... Look at it. Everybody looks so cool. Hit. After it. Pet, pet. Looking spiffy, everyone. Even Ambrosia. Looking good. Yeah. More of them. Come on, then. I crave an audience with your king. I don't have to fight them, do I? I guess we should practice with our new abilities. You deserve a rest. out of this I guess I can't <laughs> okay that is uh that's that's something that is really something another group they don't look very regal We get two new sets of abilities in this DLC, not just the Leviathan ones. That is pretty sweet. We haven't used this yet, have we? Ultimate Demise. Very flashy. go like this for the rest of the way <laughs> oh my followers side of the king could find it have been wrong I'm sure he's around here somewhere this looks suspicious Ugh, there's dozens of them the king must be close but we'll have to take care of his followers first Eh. We can handle a lot of tomberries. done okay overkill okay where's the king where's the king at
Looks like that's the last of them. Out here, anyway. But beastmen do like dark places. even. We're doing it, though. 
red tunic. Increase defense. Increase attack power. Get rid of those guys, for sure. Where is he? So the ultimate stuff is really strong, but it's easily corrupted. Oh my god. Hold still! Now's our chance. Crazy. <sighs> it's done. Which means the curse should be broken. Let's see how Talor's doing. <laughs> like a little bit out of breath after that, huh, Clive? Is it done then? It is. I was going to ask if there had been any change in Talor's condition, but judging by that smile on your face, I think I already know the answer. You do? Talor, he's back! Thank you, my lord. I can never repay you for everything you've done for me. I owe you my life. I'm just glad the curse is lifted. There is one thing I'd like to know, though, if you don't mind my asking. What made you seek the Tombury's help in the first place? Oh, that. Well, ah, uh, you deserve to know. It was years ago now, back in my trading days. The sons of Greek arrested me in Oriflam, chained me up in a lightless cell with a Great sword hung over my head, ready to fall if I didn't confess. Well, they never said to what. I didn't, of course. So eventually they just let me go. And I never told a soul. Try to forget it ever happened. 
But then you came along and the sight of your sword brought it all flooding back. I couldn't sleep, couldn't eat, couldn't hardly breathe, and I, I thought that if I gave my old chain to the Tombreys, maybe, maybe they could take all that pain away. All that anger. But it only made it worse. Oriflam has fallen. And the men who tortured you likely fell with it. <laughs> if only I'd known, uh, I might have spared everyone a lot of trouble. I'd convinced myself that you were like them, that all outsiders were the same, but you're not. Far from it. Thank you, son. Thank you. Let this be a lesson to you all. Never try to do voodoo against your enemies. Nothing good can come of it. Clive, there's something I need to tell you. After we parted ways on the path to the cloak, I went straight back to Talor and explained to him what you were doing on his behalf. And just like that, his pain began to fade. What do you mean? Just like that? The Tombury King would have still been alive. I had to contend with dozens of his minions before I found him. Then perhaps one of them warned him of your coming and he broke off his ritual. Oh, so there was no curse in the in or the first place? Perhaps. Perhaps. Knowing that an outsider was fighting for him was what lifted the weight from Talor's heart. I know from experience that many illnesses are not wholly physical, but of the spirit, at least in part. Was there ever really a curse then? Or was Talor simply suffering from the pain of his memories and the guilt of what he'd done? For all the difference it makes. I suppose we'll never know. Maybe not. All's well that ends well. This much I do know. It was your strength and your selflessness that healed his heart in the end. <laughs> I'll be sure to tell my healer friend when I get home. Okay. Mm. How are we feeling about these abilities? It was cool to check some of them out, but I don't know how I feel about... Voice of God, it's kind of... Mm. Eh. I'm not really a fan. Let's go back to Ice Age. Okay. Redstone is a great place to practice with your abilities. Yeah. I think we're just going to finish up these quests and then move on to Elden Ring. Because I know there's some people that are really excited about that. Hey, mister, over here. Maybe if we need a break from Elden Ring, we'll we'll pop in here and, and have some fun in the Redstone. That's always a possibility. Mister, you've got to help us. The village is in danger, and if someone doesn't do something, uh, you should have seen it. Stop. Take a deep breath and tell me everything, starting with your name. Sorry. My name's Eric. When you went up to the air of hours with Miss Shula, I... Well, I followed you. <sighs> you could have been killed. Lady Shula told us you lot were great warriors. So I thought I'd be all right if I stayed close, like. But then I lost track of you in the woods, and that's when I saw it. Saw what? A great, big, dripping, drooling monster. Spitting out great spouts of water, it was, that were tearing up the ground and cutting down trees. Spouts of water? I don't recall saying anything like that in the forest. Well, I did. And I don't ever want to see it again. You'll get rid of it, won't you? Okay. All right. 
If this creature is as terrible as you claim, it could well pose a threat to the village. I'll see what I can do. Thanks, mister. It was over by the swift one that I saw it. Maybe it's still there. Then that's where I'll start my search. But this time, you're going to stay here. Understood? I wouldn't go through those gates for 10 hundred gil. Not with that thing out there. Good luck, though. <laughs> He's a cute kid. All right, we need to buy some potions, though, because I used quite a bit when I was fighting the Tomberry. Something that spouts water. Is that the hunter? Hold on. Loot is my priority here. You, ah, Nasser's savior. Are you all right? What happened? I was tracking an ibex when a great spout of water struck me square in the back, sent me flying all the way across the clearing. Did you see what made it? No. All I heard was a noise. An ear splitting din. Oh, big turtle. Let this be the culprit. Leave him to us. You've caused enough trouble. Here we go. Soil and stone. Stability. I meant to put diamond dust or something, right? Well, we'll fix it after this. No, thank you, sir. Well, that guy was no Tonberry King, that's for sure. <sighs> well, that wasn't too bad. Hardly a threat to the village, but you can't blame the boy for being scared. That was just the baby. <laughs> you made that look a lot easier than it was. Do you think that was the beast which attacked you? That thing? Not a chance. Ah, there's more. I heard it coming a league away. And the blast of water that hit me was beyond anything an Archelon can manage. I'm trying to get centered here. <laughs> oh. A boy from the village sent me in search of a beast that could conjure such things, but... Ah. The real fight That's is over it. there. That's the noise I heard. Sounded like it came from the ruins. I'll go. You head back to Haven and see a healer. All right, I need to fix this. I'm in dust.
What do we have here? Something's been busy. It's a lot of very large Whatever corpses. this creature is, it's out for blood. And they're all very armored creatures as well. But it's not having ours. Stay close, Toggle. Where are you? Wonder what it is. What do we have here? Reflection of light, wings of light. Okie dokie. Dookily dookily. Oh. Thaleos. Thale- Thalaos. Thale- Thala- Thale- Another fragment of Wellius's rage. I should have known. Ooh, hello. Time to put you to bed, too. Alright, let's unleash all the things. A lot of HP left. What's this? he was doing. Oh, he's almost staggered. There he 
There we go. That's the last of them. Either way, I should let Irik know the danger is past. For now, at least. Nope, I don't want this. I want Abyssal Tear back. Let's travel straight to Irik. How many times do we have to tell you? You're not to go out into the woods alone. But I wasn't alone. They're trying to incentivize you to play NG+. I... I want to play NG+. <laughs> it's working. You're back. So? Did you find the fiend that attacked me and young Irik here? I did. It won't be troubling you anymore. Yes! I knew you'd get it. Only because you warned me of its existence. Not that you should ever have learned of its existence, but... All's well that ends well, I suppose. What was it, anyway? A manifestation of Leviathan's power. When we visited Wallius in the Surge, he was... angry and afraid. The Icon summoned these creatures for his protection. Though why one would be wandering the ruins of Riversmeet, I don't know. Maybe it was looking for his mom. That's why she died, isn't it? The Falls. The Falls? Aye. When they took her baby... She threw herself off the top. We go there once a year to pay our respects. The whole village. Hmm. An Eggy is a part of its master's spirit, but... Wallius wouldn't have been aware of what had happened to his mother. Would he? Well... Either way, you did us a favor putting that thing to rest. Us... And Walius. Thank you. Aye. Thanks, mister. Hmm. Okay, I'm, I want to do some more. Let's go. Oh, wait, no, we should take a break. But we have two more questies to do. Next quest. Apparently there's a th another one that pops up after these two. All right. Thank you guys. Elena. My lord. Might I have a moment of your time? I would beg of you a service. Certainly. What is it? It's a long story. But before we get to that, would I be right in thinking Lady Shula told you about the witch from the north? 
Yes. She said that your ancestors found her here, and that it was she who taught them the spell to stop time. She was like Walius, you know. A dominant. The Warden of Ice. My great-grandmother suspected as much. She cared for the poor woman when the end was near. And it was she whose duty became to attend her grave. A duty that was passed down to me. I see. And the service you would beg of me? Well, until recently, the path to the grave had long been blocked by a fallen tree. But when our woodsmen finally found time to move it, we quickly realized it might have been better had they not. On trying to clear the rest of the path, you see, we discovered that a flock of bloodthirsty beasts had claimed the cliffs beyond. None of us was a match for them. But you, my lord, have proven your strength many times over. Would you drive them away for us? Gladly. Of course. I'll see the path is made safe. Thank you, my lord. The grave is in a place called Witch Drop. To reach it, one must turn left at the Winged Wains, then follow the path around to the right, deep into the forest. Why so far from Haven? It was where she lived. When our ancestors first came to Mysidia, they found her there, in an old abandoned village. And it was her heartfelt wish to return there in death. So when she passed away, my great-grandmother had a stone erected for her, on the cliffs overlooking the place she once called home. How thoughtful. Well then, no time like the present. Left at the ships, then round to the right, you said. Just so. Thank you once again, my lord. I will join you at the grave anon. If fighting's what you need, I'm your man. Shouldn't take too long to get there. That's good. Uh oh. I didn't refill my potions. Also, I'm going the wrong way. Uh, wow. Apparently, I used my last elixir. It's gone. I set, how do I set the, oh, add to shortcuts. I guess, um, probably on the Tom Berry fight, I would assume. I had no idea that I died there. It's crazy. Be the path to which drop. I mean, I. Hungry Toggle. If I reacted to anything around the time when I was when I was killed by the Tomberry King, it was probably just me being confused and being afraid and frantically spamming potions. Because <laughs> I know there was some of that happening at the time. But yeah, I, I didn't know that I actually died. I think one of the little guys got me with everybody's grudge. I think I I think I know when it might have happened. Is a welcoming party.
Almost there. Everything's on cooldown. Wasn't too bad. Is there more though? Looks like that's the last of them. Now, where's the grave? Nice little spot. So this was the village. Well, those are just the ruins, huh? must be it my lord thank you for making the path safe again he's a was that her name yes hardly the most fitting tribute for a dominant is it a rough hewn stone with naught but a given name engraved on it but my ancestors had only been here a matter of weeks when she passed. Every day was a struggle to survive. They had neither the time nor the energy to devote to a more elaborate memorial. Yet they spared what they could to grant her wish, that even in death she might continue to watch over her home. She lived down there then, in the ruins. That's right. They were once the living quarters for those who served up in the temple. Mm, when the Northern Plains sent her here to weave her spell, this was where she and her retinue stayed. There were priests, handmaidens, and a knight sworn to shield her from harm. Her companion. Of course, they were all gone by the time my ancestors arrived. I think. Fled or dead in the Western Wars. All except his A. Remain till the end. Alone. Indeed. At least that is the story as it's been handed down in Haven. But there is an epilogue to the tale. One known only to Lady Shula and myself. Some years after Issei's passing, you see, my grandmother came here to tend the grave and found a stranger kneeling before it. A knight dressed head to toe in plate. She asked of him who he was and whence he had come, but received no answer. The only words he spoke were, tell me true, whose grave is this? So she told him of how her people had met and cared for Issei, and how she had died. His only reaction was to stare up at the air of hours in silence. Then he left, never to be seen again. You said he was wearing plate. Was it black and gold? Do you know something of him? When we went up to the Heir of Hours to unravel the spell, we were set upon by a shade in the shape of a knight in full plate. It manifested in front of the Vare, and in its ether, I felt Shiva, the witch. You think this may have been the same man my great-grandmother met? Issei's knight? I don't know. 
Maybe. All I can say for sure is it was intent on protecting her creation. Or perhaps her spirit. What remained of her ether, preserved in the Vair. Perhaps his spirit too became enraveled in her spell. Frozen in an eternal vigil. Till we ended it. If the shade you fought was Issei's knight, then ending it was the greatest gift you could have given him. Now he can return to the sea, to be with his lady once more. And if his spirit should ever return here to visit a grave, I shall ask his name, that I might carve it in the stone next to hers. That they might be together, once and for all. I know his name, guy who kicked my ass <laughs> with a big hammer. Write that down. That hammer was cool though, especially when it got all big. Thank you, my lord, for reuniting them. There's that thing again. <laughs> You're welcome. Okay, so I really need to buy some potions. And we'll do the next quest. We're getting through them. That's him. The one who's do you think he's promised? <gasps> she wants to marry me? Sorry, we'll I'm taken. Well, uh, if you're sure you need it. Very well. Jill is the one for me. Clive's one and only. You wouldn't happen to have some time on your hands, would you, Clive? Only I was wondering if you might help me with something else. Don't tell me. Another unruly dominant. <laughs> not quite. Better not be. But a dangerous foe, nonetheless. It promises to be quite a hunt. Care to join me? Mm -hmm. This might level right. me up. I think I'm pretty tell close to another level. Quarry. A fiendish, cold-blooded beast known as a Givra. Normally, we leave such animals well alone, and for good reason. But I have an even better reason to want its tongue. Uh, its tongue? If you'll permit me, tributary, I can explain... Never heard of a Giv Givra before. Yamila. It's been over a week since my sister gave birth to her first child. Yet, she still isn't back on her feet. We've tried everything to restore her spirits. Physics and nostrums. The laying on of hands and of leeches. But all to no avail. The healers tell me there's only one hope left. A broth as potent as its ingredients are perilous to procure. It isn't only Yamila's sister who stands to benefit from this, by the way. There's her baby to think of, and Walias, too. She'd agreed to be his wet nurse, you see. I'd be glad to help. Thank you. Is Shula really Walias tall, no or is that of skill. other girl this really small? calls for more than that. And it won't be achieved through weight of numbers, either. The Giver is as wary a foe as it is a deadly one. Two hunters might catch it unawares. But any more than that, and it would pick up our scent a league away. Then it is decided. The two of you will go, while Jill and I occupy ourselves here. Perhaps we might help prepare the broth. That would be most kind of you. Come then, Clive. The river of time flows fast, and so must we. There's a Givra that has claimed the ruins at the foot of the mountain as its hunting ground. But as I say, they are wary creatures. We'll need suitable bait to draw it out. The flesh of a forest ibex should suffice. She's tall. I never step. noticed how big she is.
I mean, I guess she'd have to be to There's nothing that carry that big old axe around. Let's see. Things. That speaks the voice of experience. Do you hunt often? Since I was a girl, my father would take me. It's taller than Clive. Turn to the sea, Yamila's father. Our families have always been close. Even if her sister wasn't Wallace's wet nurse, I couldn't stand by and watch her suffer. And what about the walls? Hunt for Ibex in Father's Fell. We can probably... Um... It's just, it's not too far. Teleporting will make us, will bring us a little bit closer, but not too much. We can use our chocobo though. Let's go. Faster. And we'll get there in a jiffy. Like we split. Further in. All right, we have potions. We're ready. These will do nicely. Oh, we have to fight these guys. Safe. They're so cute. <laughs> oh shit! <laughs> Look at her go. Hey, leave my dog alone. Torgal off the cliff. We're almost there to whatever level. I don't even know what level we are. Is this our bait? Return to the sea and to the clouds rise again. We have our bait then. What next? Next, we pay a visit to the dark gate to pick some local weed. It'll help disguise our scent. Time to get local. Good girl. Fly, Ambrosia. Oh. Uh. You deserve a rest. There should be a sprig or two of local weed growing somewhere around here. Look for the golden leaves. I found them. Oh, Clive, slow down. Is it? Aye, that's the stuff. Crush the leaves between your fingertips and rub them on your clothes. Uh, if you insist. <laughs> if I have to. Oh, you could have warned me about the smell. Like corruption, isn't it? We'll have an honor guard of flies before long. Oh, do we smell like shit? Noticing us. Its nose will tell it we're nothing but a feast for worms. Ugh. Oh, I feel so much better. We can wash it off afterwards. We smell if like dead flesh. There's one good thing about flesh. the beaver choosing the ruins for its hunting ground. It's that there's plenty of fresh water nearby. Lovely. Thank 
explicit. A fresh kill. But not a Givris. The wounds are too clean. Too small. Oh. Are we looking for a bird? A dragon? What is the... I don't even know what a Givra is. Duck? Tracks. But I assume they're too small to belong to a Givra. You're right. They're barely big enough to belong to a Givra's breakfast. Ideas. More tracks. These look a lot bigger. These look like a predator's tracks. You can clearly make out the claws. And not just any claws. These belong to a Givra. There's no mistaking them. We'll lay the bait here. Let's hope our friend is hungry. I'm hungry. I am. Still no sign. Maybe because we're in plain Patience sight. Clave. <laughs> Hunting's not something you can rush. Have you stalked these beasts before? Once. Gavers are fast, so the job called for a bearer. But even with my knack, it was a close run thing. Not many leaders would take such risks for their people. Says the man who battled an icon to save a boy he barely knew. It is the way of the Mots of Water to use what gifts we've been given for the good of all. And I gather it's your way too. It was Sid. The man whose name I bear. Sid. He fought for his people and their future with every fiber of his being. And I'm just following in his footsteps. In many ways, you remind me of him. Me? You're confusing Darren with desperation. Quiet. Something's coming. Yeah, we're we're just not very hidden. <laughs> Ooh, there we go. It's a it's like a worm oh, dragon Justice thing. Finally arrived. Raptor. I don't know. It'd be rude not to. It's a Givra. That's what it is. Don't let it escape. Give me a chance to see what thing I'm on. Well done. Alright, rough start, but we'll get it.
I'm not happy unless I'm punching things. We go with the punch still no level up we need a lot of experience to get a level up here you weren't exaggerating when you said they were dangerous they're forces of nature all right and with this one's passing the river of life has calmed yay O oh, roaring torrent, son of storms, may your spirit run free in the open ocean. This flesh I claim, that your gifts might rain down upon us this day, and our river flow in spate once more. Well then, let's return to the village. We must get this tongue to Yamilla before it spoils. Return! Yes. Tributary! My lord! Did all proceed as planned? It did. Here. Yeah. One giver tongue. As promised. You can have this thing. I don't want it. It's all slimy. Oh, thank you. I shall add it to the broth at once. By your leave, tributary. If there is anything else that we can do to help, you need only ask. Oh, no, no. You've already done more for my family than I can ever repay. Just as you have, Clive, for my family. I only regret that I have nothing to offer you in return but my gratitude. It's more than enough. Besides, I'm no less grateful to you. For what? For welcoming my friends and I into your midst. For showing us how your people live. For reminding me that the world we strive to create, where bearers can live alongside their fellow men in peace and comfort, is no mere fantasy. Oh yeah, they what do do, do that here, comfort? huh? Every day is a struggle. Though we do at least struggle together, it's true. As must we all. I only ask that you remember the cost of using your gifts as a bearer. I know that you feel it's your duty to do whatever you can to help your people. But you have a child to think about now. And Wallace has lost enough. I should bear that in mind. That's all I ask. Oh, and if there is anything else that we can do to help, well, you know. Thank you. Truly. Yay! Oh my gosh. Oh, there we go. Okay, I was gonna say, we're just right there. Level 52. Sweet! Arm of Darkness.
A new quest. All right, one last one. Let's go into our stuff again. Let's do the old, uh, let's see. Phoenix shift. I'm struggling with like the iconic feats since I like to use circle as like a dodge or a block whenever I happen to be on one of them that isn't a dodge or a block and I I think that I can dodge or block by pressing circle I just end up getting hit so I think I want to make this a a dodge or a block I think it's going to help me out and then what we want to put there, um, let's see. Um, ooh, wait, wait. Tsunami, I like Tsunami better than the, I'm just, we can use, um, Let's see. I don't mind proselytize. That's pretty cool, but I'm just not really a big fan of a lot of these. Yeah. Not really too much of a fan, to be quite honest. I might even want to just put gouge back, but we'll we'll go with it. Proselytize. There we go. I went back to a lot of the um Leviathan abilities. Alright. Are we on potions? I think we might want to top it off. It's good to have a bunk. This might be a tough one. Hey Jonathan, how you doing? Yes. This is all we have. Here you are. Well, uh, if you show you need it. Okay. No, it has to be him. What has to be who? If you uh, don't mind my asking. It's not your asking, I mind. It's my explaining. But I don't see any other way around it. You see, when a baby is born here, we hold a ceremony to welcome them. The rite of immersion, we call it. But I don't know whether Wallius was ever afforded that courtesy. What is abundantly clear, though, is that my ancestors never welcomed him as one of us. And I want to change that. The problem is, the ceremony requires three ministrators. The baby's parents and a witness. As tributary, the role of witness would normally fall to me. But being Wallace's closest living relative, I must play the role of mother. So you want me to serve as witness in your stead? That's right. A witness must be a trusty guardian, ready to steer the child through the stormy waters of life and on to tranquility. Which is why I thought of you. Let's do it. It would be my honor. Thank you, Clive. This will be a nice way to wrap all this so, stuff up. If you will serve as mother and I as witness, who will take on the father's role? Joshua. I have a younger brother. <laughs> he should be making ready for the rite as we speak, though whether he is or not. <sighs> Let me introduce you. Please do. If he's anything like his sister, I'm sure we'll get on famously. I'll bid him come to the Witten Hall. Will you wait for us there? Gladly.
the closer we get to finishing all this, the closer we get to Elden Ring, and I'm I'm scared. <laughs> this is a nice view. This is like photo mode kind of thing. Like take out the UI. I don't remember how to do photo mode on this, but take take Clive, take all the UI off, take and then just like right here. Nice nice picture here. Alrighty. Do you have anything? Reckon my steel is just as good as any. Well, I don't have any more aquamarines, so I guess it doesn't matter if you have mm. anything that I want. I should change my sword's appearance to the Buster Sword for this last quest. Clive, my brother. I don't know if we're gonna if be fighting anything my though. Old mate Sid. You. Oh no. So you do remember me? It's him. Even stripped of my cunning disguise. I'm touched. Oh, you two know each other. Unfortunately, my friends and I crossed paths with your brother on our hunt for the dusk crystals, during which we saved his life three times. Was it three, four? Who's counting? All I know is when Shula mentioned she'd called in Sid the Outlaw to help young Walias, I could be sure that the little rascal was in safe hands. I mean, having seen you in action back at the tower. I know exactly what you're capable of. I kind of do want to punch him. So the mercenary you met in the Sage Spire, that was Clive. And he saved your life. That's a rather different story from the one you told me. And a far likelier one at that. It would appear my family owe you twice over. Whether they admit it or not. Honestly, Fammy, would it kill you to tell the truth once in a while? What? I said sorry, didn't I? How about we save the uh, recriminations until after the ceremony, eh? Speaking of which, what does this ceremony involve exactly? It's simple, really. We each say a short prayer and anoint the child's head with holy water. Nothing too onerous, then. Not about the rite itself, no. But it does call for some preparation. One of the witnesses' responsibilities is to collect the holy water, you see. Three files for the three ministrators, each taken from a particular place. And all three places are overrun with beasts. Don't worry, though. Beasts. It's not as if you have to go alone. I can show you the way. I'm guessing. I'd appreciate that. I'm Ariel, hoping. You stay here and ready the Witten Hall. Leave it to me. Yeah, don't take him with us, please. If there's anything Jill and I can do to assist you, we'd be glad to help. Thank you both. We get to go on a date with a tall right woman then. again. Let's okay. get started, shall we? There are three types of holy water that we must collect. The water of the mountain, of the river, and of the sea. We take the water of the mountain from the spring atop Maiden's March. The water of the river from the course that flows through the ruins of Rivers Meet. And the water of the sea from the shallows of Tailwind Bay. Here are the files we'll be using in the ceremony. I'm ready to leave whenever you are. Okay. Let's, um... Oh, but we have to go to the Arete Stone to switch our, um, appearance, don't we? I don't feel like doing that. We'll just leave the sword as it is. I mean, it looks really cool. I do like it a lot. I should have known, like, I've forgotten that this guy, his appearance is like that. Because when you first start the other DLC, you don't think anything of the fact that he has white hair and blue eyes. 
And then by the time you get here, you've forgotten about the annoying bastard, so... <laughs> yeah. I did not make the connection, but it's a very obvious connection once it's pointed out to you. Like, oh, yeah. Yep. Alright, so where are we going first? Okay, let's see. Let's go to this one. The Water of Life, Maiden's March. Yeah, let's start here. I can't whistle, so that's the best you're getting. Or maybe a... Maybe a... Run like the wind. That's how I'm going to call Mochi from now on. Instead of calling his name Mochi, I'm going to be like, Good old what's his name? What's his name? <laughs> Jovi, yes, Jovi. <laughs> uh, Stay back. I'm warning you. Is this someone's in trouble? Come on. I wonder if it's one of um Famiel's little lackey guys. No. Help! Oh wait. Help! It oh, is help! them! Coming to. And we get to fight a curl. Help. Oh, good thing I stocked up on potions. Keep its attention on us. Yeah. 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 He's kicking my butt already. Oh, I bet this one's tougher than the ones we fought previously, too. You better be careful. I used this Phoenix ship. Forgot what it exactly how it works. work cut out for us oh my goodness Faster. okay let's try not to die again because it takes a while to get back over here and then we got to hear this every time <laughs> someone's in trouble come on All right, can we? Yeah, let's just skip this. Keep its attention on us. I do more than that.
gosh. this this time what happened the first time i just got overwhelmed by all the enemies i wasn't sure like i was trying to figure out what enemy i wanted to attack and then i just died tweedledee and tweedledum oh sid thank all the clouds in the heavens you came you saved us again would you two care to explain what you're doing up here? The chief sent us to fetch incense for the ceremony. So the Witten Hall smells nice for the little Ben. <clears throat> you mean to tell me you braved this den of deadly beasts for some tree sap? You don't have to do everything he says, you know. Or if you must, at least have the good sense to ask one of our hunters to accompany you. We're sorry. It's fine. Just go back to the village before you get yourselves into any more trouble. Sorry. Well, you are. Oh, and uh, thanks and that. Always saving their hides. I need to give my brother a cuff round the ear when we get back. Can I help? Right then. Let's collect this water, shall we? Oh, right. Forgot. <laughs> I'm like, well, let's go to the next fight. <laughs> I forgot the whole reason we came here. The rain that falls on the mountain emerges here in these springs. The source of the river. The source of life. Precisely. Take care not to spill it. Right. Let's save that for the ceremony. Okay. Let's do one more up here and then we'll restock potions and then go to the third one. Somebody did that in your link shell, went through a whole zone to a place for a quest, left without the item. What's a, what's a link shell? Anyways, that's funny. I've sent Husbando to the store. Oh, thank you for the follow. Oh, something for a Final Fantasy 14 thing. Oh, it's like a guild. I've sent Husbando to the store for like one thing and he comes back with a bunch of stuff except the one thing that I asked him to get. The water of the river from here. All right.
The water of the river represents life. It is constantly moving, constantly changing. And though its course may twist and turn or branch into a thousand separate streams, it always flows in the same direction, from source to sea, beginning to end. Like time. What of Wallius then? When your ancestors froze him, did they remove him from the river of life? They did like an ice-bound pool that didn't thaw for 80 summers. But now he's free to flow again, to live. And you and I shall flow with him, for we are all but drops of water in the great river of life. I find that thought oddly reassuring. Go on. A drop of water might seem insignificant on its own, but as a part of a torrent, it can cleave a path through the hardest rock. It makes me believe we humans might just stand a chance. I believe we might. Just one more file to go then. Nearly done. Oh, I thought we were gonna have to do a fight in each one. Okay. Well, I say have to. I should mean get to. I thought we were going to get to do a fight on each one. Maybe there'll be a fight on this one. We're going to a place we've never explored before, so... Maybe? It was... Probably blocked off before. No holding back. No, no fighting. This path leads down to the coast. I remember coming this way. Usually we keep this gate shut tight. But since this is a special occasion. Mm-hmm. Be safe. I remember. She's like, you don't want to go down there. Like, maybe I do. Thank the tides, the weather held. This place can be treacherous when the waves are high. If it weren't for the holy water, no one would ever come down here. I'll be sure to watch my step. You've done that. You've walked in from the store, poured your cereal, walked out, got back in the car, went back to the store to get the milk you forgot. I mean, maybe if the store is like really close, the but to the sea, then rises into the clouds. Just like life, the end is not the end. Only a new beginning. Poetic. I think at that point I just eat that shit dry. I eat My dry cereal all the time anyways. Because it was where the first boat landed. And it's a good thing they didn't land closer to the surge. Quite. Ooh, this is so nice. That's a great view of the wave there. I don't think we're gonna fight anything here. There's not really a lot of space. The water of the sea. I still can't help but be awed by it. Oh. Same. 
All that wave ever made me feel was pity and sorrow for the innocent life trapped inside it. The child my great-grandfather sacrificed to try to change his people's fate. It was wrong, an unforgivable sin. But I often wonder, will my descendants ever forgive me for what I have done? As tributary, I've faced many difficult choices. And though I've always striven to do what's best for my people, here we live in poverty, hidden away from the world. So have my choices denied them a better life, just as my ancestors denied Walius his. No. You would not forcibly sacrifice one of your people to save the others. You do the best you can for all of them, as do I. We share in their woes, just as we share in their joys. And the most we can do is try to bring them more of the latter. Aye, you're right. And try I shall to bring all of my people a better tomorrow. Walius included. <laughs> then I wish you luck. If my time with the boy is any indication, he's going to be quite a handful. Yep. <laughs> then we must start as we mean to go on and give him the very best welcome we can. All right, I'm ready. To next, then. Back to the village to find out if my brother has made the necessary preparations or got his lackeys to do it for him. I'm going to go with got his lackeys to do it for him. Or got Joshua and Jill to do it for him. We have the holy water. Is everything else in place? All ready to go. Told you you could count on me. Then let us begin. Famiel, have your men summon everyone to the Witten Hall. Right you are. Uh, Ashula, wait. I don't know the words. Don't worry. There aren't many of them. We'll have time enough to practice before people arrive. <laughs> He's like suddenly freaking out. Like, fight a bunch of scary monsters? Fine. S recite some words that you have to memorize in front of people? Oh god. <laughs> I can't do this. <laughs> My friends, we are gathered here today to welcome this child into our community by the right of immersion as has been our custom since the first reign. As tributary, I would normally perform the rite with the child's parents, but Walius's mother and father returned to the sea long ago. So I and my brother Famiel shall serve as his family, while the one who returned him to us shall bear witness in my stead. Clive, if you would step forward, Don't forget your lines, Clive. Like the rain that falls on the mountains tall, are we born? Like the river that flows through the valleys below, do we live? Isn't this like waterboarding? see where the currents run free do we die and to the clouds then rise again
The circle of water is the circle of life. And today, from the heavens falls rain anew. This child, Walias, now joins our stream, and he shall flow with us from the mountains to the sea. Little baby. You played your part to a T, Clive. Thank you. It means a lot to us. I was honored to be asked. And terrified I'd miss. <laughs> now that you're part of the family, young Walias, my lad. Uncle Samuel can teach you the ways of the world. Please don't. Oh no, he can't. Eh? Don't be so hasty. Your brother's knack for self-preservation might serve him well. Ha! You are never going to let me live that down, are you? Nope. <laughs> <laughs> I'm going to raise Walius as if he were my own. Teach him everything I know about life, our people, and our past. But with all the mother crystals gone, he will grow up in a world without comforts. One where we only have ourselves and each other to rely on. I'd say your people are better prepared than most to survive in such a world, Shula. To thrive, indeed, under your guidance. Only if nature continues to smile on us. If we were to lose her gifts, we'd be left with nothing at all. Yes. But it needn't come to that. Not if we can stop the spread of the blight. So long as we can save a single patch of soil, we can plant the seeds for a new world. One where we can all be free. Perhaps then, we might finally be able to step out from behind our curtain, eh? Till that day comes, I wish you good tide. Thank you. We should be on our way. Well, you be careful out there. Aye, you steer clear of trouble now. I don't want to hear it from you, sir. <laughs> Likewise. Well, would have liked Jill and Joshua to have some more lines in all of this. Both DLCs. We got a hundred, uh, 10,000 gold. Uh, oh, okay. Displayed in Clive's chambers. Oh, nice. To think, we must be the first outsiders to have witnessed that rite in over a century. Walius has been waiting for it for nearly as long. He seemed pleased to be finally rejoining the family. Now all we have to do is save that family. To change our river's course. And then we go beat the game again. <laughs> what an awesome ending to this little adventure that we had with these DLCs. I really, really enjoyed both of them a whole lot. Definitely worth it. It just kind of makes me wish that there was more Final Fantasy 16 coming up, but I don't think there is. Maybe, I don't know, but I think um, things are pretty much all wrapped up. Or did they announce more? I don't remember if they announced anything else. But anyways, 
Um, if there is anything else that comes out for this game, I will definitely be gobbling it all up. The next Final Fantasy thing that we're going to be doing on the channel is probably going to be Final Fantasy V. I will be doing the pixel remaster of that my first time playing it, so I hope you guys will join me for that. And until then, hopefully you guys will stick around, check out some of the other playthroughs that we'll be working on up until then. Thank you guys again for watching, and see you guys in the comments, and goodbye!